welcome back to another beer review. And in this beer review, we're off to Germany and we've got a Pilsner. We've got a Veltins Pilsner. Super smashing. Great. There you go. Clocking in at 4.8% ABV. Um, it's got it's a weird looking can. It's got it's got like a like a grip for your hands to, to grab hold of. You see that? That's all I can describe it as. Um so yeah, it's 4.8% ABV. Um not really any information on it at all. That is from Germany, and that's about it. So the best thing to do is to crack this open and see what it's all about. Like you do. See what we'll get in the aroma. Also, there's a a slight floralness. Slight hint of grassy nest like aroma. <laughs> if that makes sense. No, it probably doesn't. Because I'm reviewing a beer. I never make sense. Do I? <laughs> Let's pour this out like we do. And it's come out very pale. Very, very pale. Um, Veltins. Have I had I have reviewed one years ago. Can't remember what it was. So my experience of Veltins is not a, not a lot really, to be honest. Um, but it's German, it's a Pilsner. I reckon it's going to be good. You know? It's got to be good. It's German and it's a Pilsner. So, there we go. Sticker there. Beer in a glass, as you can see. Look at that. Busy. Cacophony of bubbles everywhere. Look at that. It's got like a um, slightly foamy head to it, actually, you have to say. Um, but, yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Aroma. About the same. A little bit of sweet malt. Maybe a little bit of sweet maltiness there. With a slight floral nest. Nest. I don't like wearing this T-shirt. I've just noticed. It's, it's showing off the bust. <laughs> anyway, get back to the beer. I'm going in. Cheers, Stefan, mate. Like little subtle notes of malt. And it felt a little bit peppery as soon as I started to drink it. It felt a little bit peppery, but again, more or less kind of like subtle notes of malt there. If you're an RBU of 21, you, you pick up the bitterness towards the back end. Um, it's just flowing out. And it is slightly crisp as well for me it's not bad you know it's a half decent pilsner i quite like it um for some reason the mouthfeel makes me think of it being stronger i don't know the mouthfeel feels quite quite thick for me but it does leave a crisp crisp and dry finish if you know what I mean again again hmm yeah I could I could I could I could have a few of them you know for me the Pilsner has to have a you know a, a crispness on the back end for me that's what a Pilsner for me needs to have and I'm getting it on this so for me this beer, I give the thumbs up. It is, it's okay, it's nice. Um, I'll recommend this one. Um, don't forget, you've got to grip it properly. Got the grips there on the can, you've got to grip it. Boys and girls, Beltings, Pilsner, give it a go. Try it for yourselves <coughs> and enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching this short one. But sometimes, it's not the length, it's what you do with it. And on that score, thank you very much for watching this beer review. As ever, please subscribe, murder me in the comments, and I shall see you on my next one.
Son chiles. <risa>